Create and customize lightning apps. Learning objectives. After completing this unit, you will be able to describe the benefits of lightning apps, create a lightning app with custom branding, list two best practices for planning lightning apps for your org. What is a lightning app? An app is a collection of items that work together to serve a particular function. In Lightning Experience, Lightning apps give your user access to set objects, tabs and other items all in one convenient bundle in the navigation bar. Lightning apps let you brand apps with custom color and a logo. You can even include a utility bar and lightning page tabs in your Lightning app. Members of your org can work more efficiently by easily switching between apps. What's most important to sales reps, accounts, events and organizations? How about sales managers? Reports and dashboards make the top of the list. Let's jump into details. Each lightning app has a navigation bar at the top of the page, letting your users find what they need using item names for easy recognition complete actions and access recent records and lists with a single click, personalize the navigation bar to suit the unique way they work. Think of the navigation bar as a container for a set of items and functionality. It's always there, but the items within it change based on the app you're using. So here are the example, the app name, displays on the left side of the navigation bar, and custom colors and branding make each app unique and easy to identify. So let's see if we see anything. There, I don't think this is really an app, or is it? Doesn't look like it. Your users can access other items and apps by clicking the app launcher item uh, icon. Which is the thing here. Your users can create records and access recent records and a list directly from the navigation bar for items like opportunities. So that's here. So what things can you put in a lightning app? Most standard objects including home, the main chatter feed, groups and people, your orcs custom objects, visual force tabs, lightning component tabs, canvas apps via visual force tabs, web tabs. You can even include lightning page tabs and utilities like lightning voice. If your org uses utility features, you can enable a utility bar in your app that allows instant access to productivity tools like integrated voice in the lightning experience footer. You can also build your own on-demand apps by grouping items into new custom apps. To switch between apps, users can use the app launcher. This makes it easy for most users to switch contacts and still have access to the items, object, pages they need most. Here's an example. Meet the Lightning Experience App Manager. The App Manager is your go-to place for managing apps for Lightning Experience. It shows all your connected apps and Salesforce apps. Use the Lightning Experience Manager to view all your Salesforce apps, create Lightning apps or connected apps. See which apps are visible in Lightning Experience. Easily manage apps. Click a column header to sort the list based on that column. So let's see if we can find it. I'm not sure where that's supposed to be. 
It's a setup here, so. Go to setup. And it's supposed to be there somewhere. Lightning. Manager. Just continue. What does that visible in lightning column mean? You can see in the app manager that there are two types of apps classic and lightning. A check mark in the visible and lightning experience column means that the app is accessible in lightning experience via the app launcher and is fully functional. So we can kind of skip this because I have no idea where that is. Create a lightning app. Creating and editing a lightning app is a cinch. As here's the Miller Solar's admin, Maria needs an app that puts everything about customer energy assessment at her consultant's fingertips. Let's dive right in and try it out. In a few simple steps, you can give an app a name. Set its primary color, upload a logo, specify which item appears in the app's navigation bar and assign the app to user profiles. From the home tab and setup, enter app in the quick find box and select app manager. There we have the app manager, fortunately that's there. Click new lightning app and we are supposed to walk through the app wizard and create an app with these parameters. Energy consultations, track energy orders and product recommendations. Image your choice, use a JPG, PNG, BMP. Okay, I don't really have an image at hand, but let's just stop the video and let me look for something. So I randomly found this app image here, so I'm just uh, going to upload that. already uploaded it, you can see it here. And let's go on to the next one. Primary hex color supposed to be orange and app options leave as is. Utility to items, don't add any. Navigation items. I'm just gonna put a check mark here. So the image and the color is used instead of the custom theme. Let's see if how that looks like and navigation form factor. Don't say anything. So I will just leave that as it is. Utility item, leave as is. Navigation items. Home.
Share to groups. Energy audits contacts product and toss. All right, let's go to next available profiles. Sign to user profile, system administrator. That would be me, I guess. And not Maria, what assigned to her consultant users. But for our purpose, it's easier to test if we set it to system administrator. So let's see what, that, what we can choose there. It's kind of hard to see. Custom sales profile, something like that. Okay, and now it's all set up. So let's see if we can actually see it here. What's the name again? Energy consultations. And there you see the image. And let's see if everything works with the color and stuff. Yes, it works indeed. You can see the orange here. You can see the image here. All looks good. Energy audits, we can see there as well. You can see it here. Next number as well, just what we did there. Check out the new app, it's got all the custom branding you gave it. That's correct, a custom icon, which is there. And the custom color, which is there. Because home is first in the navigation bar, it becomes the first page your users see when they open the app. Nice work! Now you're ready to create your own custom lightning apps. Beyond the basics, did you know that app images for lightning apps can be animated GIFs? Oh yes, they can. You're welcome. Tips for creating apps in a lightning experience. It's time for the fun part, deciding how to set up lightning apps for your users. Here are some tips for planning lightning apps for your org. Talk to your users, ask them what their priorities are. Customizing tabs in apps gives you a unique opportunity to engage with your users. Each group of users has its own priorities. Find out which objects and items represent their highest priorities. Ask users to post feedback to a chatter group. Publish polls. Schedule lunch sessions. Everybody likes free lunch and nearly everyone is happy to express their opinion. Create a master list of objects that everyone in your org wants. Then trim down the list for each group, sales reps, sales managers, execs, and so on. The menus for every user group share some common objects like home, tasks, and feed. Keep the high priority items for each group at the top. Put the low priority items at the bottom or remove them altogether. Users can always go to the app launcher to get items that they use less often. Now we got a quiz here. What's a key benefit of lightning apps for your users? Users can create records and access recent records and lists directly from the navigation bar. It's easy to switch contacts with the app launcher. Lightning apps give users access to the items, objects and pages they need most. That's all of the above, I would say.
Let's just check the APART records just to be sure. Yeah, access recent records and list. Single click, so it's correct. I don't want to mess up like in the last quiz where I lost a couple points because I was too quick. Number two, what can you include in a lightning app? Trailhead modules, custom sound effects and flashing text, web tab, standard and custom objects and utility features like lightning voice. That would be C. Trailhead modules is what we are going for right, right, uh, through right away. Custom sound effects and flashing text. No, there is none of that. There's an this GIF can apparently be animated, but um, that's about it. And number three, what's a good way to optimize an app for your users? Brand the app with an animated GIF and neon colors to get their attention. Put the highest priority objects and tabs first in the navigation menu. Have a developer code in a sad summer tone sound effect that plays for every error message. Add every object in the org to the navigation menu. So that would be B. Put the highest priority objects and tabs first in the navigation menu so people can find it. Check the quiz to earn 100 points. So let's hope I didn't mess up everything, but everything sounds like common sense so far. And we got the 100 points and let's tackle the next unit.